hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna make some jamaican excavish fish yeah so here i have a red snapper and that's a large one it already scale i wash it with lemon and with vinegar so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pat dry it with my hand towel right there because you don't want when you fry your fish it stick to the pot so make sure you dry your fish properly from any excess water okay so now that i pot dry my fish now guys i'm gonna take my knife and slice my fish two times so the oil will penetrate in the fish and so the seasoning will go inside of it also so it tastes nice and full of flavor okay do not cut it all the way through just take your time and just cut it okay like so my knife is not sharp enough so that's why i'm taking so long so now guys i'm just gonna flip it back over and continue with the same process yeah so these are all of my seasoning that i'm gonna use to season my fish so here i have one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of fish seasoning and just a pinch of salt so guys just make sure you blend your seasoning just a bit so now as you can see i'm gonna season my fish so i'm gonna put some seasoning on the inside just make sure it is all over on your fish because you want your fish to full of flavor okay so make sure it is all seasoned properly So as you're sprinkling your season on your fish, you're just going to take your hands and just rub all that seasoning all over on your fish, okay? So my fish is all seasoning now guys. You can always leave it to marinate for at least 30 minutes or so. Or if you want you can just fry it as it is. So guys I'll leave back a tiny bit of seasoning to make my excavate dressing. Okay so that's the amount that I leave back. So these are all of my ingredients for my excavate fish dressing. So here I have some bell pepper. And I'm using the red and the green one. And I also have half of onion, one carrot, some fresh thyme, just a small amount. And some spring onions also, guys, but it's small amount, okay? And I also have one teaspoon of pimento seed. So, guys, as you can see, I'm cutting my bell pepper. You just want to cut it finely, okay? You don't want it to be too big. Just cut it exactly as though I cut it, yeah? So now I'm going to cut my onion. You just want to cut around it. Yeah, like so. And I'm also going to add some scotch bonnet pepper, of course. You're going to need at least one or even half. But it all depends how spicy you want it to be. Thank you. 
So now I'm going to cut my carrot for you guys because I want to show you on how I do it. So what I do, I cut my carrot in two pieces. Then guys, you just want to cut it straight, okay? You don't want it to be too big. Make sure it cut in small pieces. So now I'm going to fry my red snapper. So to my pot, I add some vegetable oil. Make sure you add enough oil to your pot so your fish will fry properly, okay? So now I'm just adding some garlic clove just to get the flavor popping to my oil. And guys, before you add your fish, make sure your pot is hot, okay? And make sure your oil is hot also. So now I'm just going to take my time and add my fish. And I'm also going to add some scotch bonnet pepper also. That's going to give the fish a nice flavor, okay? It is totally optional, but it's something that I would normally do. I'm going to also add some fresh thyme to my oil and some spring onions. And guys, you're just going to allow your fish to fry for at least 5 to 6 minutes on each side. But make sure you give an eye on it because you don't want it to burn, okay? So just after 6 minutes, my fish been frying. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn it. And guys, make sure you take your time. I'm going to use one of my hand and just flip it over, okay? So as you can see, it is nice and golden and that's exactly how you want it. Make sure your stove is not turned up too high, at least on a medium heat. So my fish is nicely fried, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove it and put it on a cooling rack, okay? So the same part that I used to fry my fish, what I did, I removed most of the oil from it and any bits that's in there, I just wipe it out. So now I'm going to add all my herbs and you're just going to allow it to saute guys for at least a minute, okay? So just after one minute, now I'm going to add my remaining seasoning, okay? And I'm also, guys, this is a must. I'm going to add at least seven spoonful of white vinegar, okay? I don't want to add too, too much because I'm only frying one fish. Then, guys, you're just going to leave it for at least three to four minutes on a low heat, okay? And it is finished. 
So guys, if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to give me a big, big thumbs up and share this video to your families, to your friends and all over on your social media. I will really, really appreciate it. And if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so you can receive more delicious videos like these. And hit your notification button, guys, for whenever I upload a video, you will be the first to see it, okay? So my exhibit is all finished, so now I'm just gonna plate it up and show you guys how it looks on the plate. So stay tuned. So now, as you can see, I'm adding my excavish on top of my fish. So all that vinegar, all that juice will go right on my fish. And I'm telling you guys, it looks amazing. My house right now smells so, so, so good. This recipe is a must try. If you try this recipe, guys, please comment below and tell me what it's like, okay? I'm just giving you guys a up close look and how delicious my excavage fish looks like. You can serve it with some ardor bread, with some fried dumpling, with some festival, with some salad, or you can just have it as it is. God, trust me, it tastes good. So now guys, I'm just gonna taste my excavish fish for you guys and tell you what it's like. And I'm telling you, it was so, so, so yummy. You can taste all the spices. Trust me, this recipe right here is a must try. Guys, I thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to keep laughing, keep smiling, no matter what. Because God is always on your side. Bye guys.